All right, so it's Saturday morning and we just came down for breakfast. And look at that cute little hummingbird. <gasps> it was taking a bath. Good morning. morning. So uh, we just got our coffee cake, mm -hmm. cinnamon infused. I don't even know. It just sounded amazing. So, Sounds tasty. so excited. We got our uh, orange juice and coffee and water. And after breakfast, we're going to head to Gurgich Hills. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. And for our first wine tasting of the day. All right, so the main portion of our meal just arrived, and it's a um, cream corn polenta with a egg and bacon and roasted vegetables. Looks incredible. minutes early to our appointment so we're just gonna walk around for a minute and take a couple of pictures and it's beautiful here they've got some gorgeous landscaping We see everywhere, and it smells amazing. I would like to know what it is. I'm gonna figure it out before we leave here. These are the grape clusters. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> they stood out so little. Mm -hmm. All the grapes on this one. This one has a lot of baby grapes. Well, to begin with, uh, a little background on Mike Gergich, since he's the reason we're all here. Uh, Mike immigrated from Yugoslavia, 1954, to escape communism. He is a fourth generation winemaker. So when he arrived here, he had skills. Uh, this is where all the action takes place. All the grapes come to this location. They're all hand sorted into the hopper. They go into our bladder press where they're gently squeezed. And then all the juice goes inside into the cellar, and that's where we'll be going in a few minutes. Red wine, they're going to ferment for maybe five to seven weeks, and that's because red wine gets all its color and flavor from its contact on the skin. So I always go through this as this part of my spiel, and you all probably know this, but there isn't any such grape as white Zinfandel. <laughs> Just left Gurgich Hills. We joined their wine club. Yes. Super excited about that. Yes. Um, we got a nice bottle of wine to maybe enjoy one evening while we're here. Um, or take it home. I don't know. It probably won't make it home. Okay. I mean, who really are we kidding? a really nice tour. Really yeah. cool place. Yeah. A lot of history. Yeah. So, um, so this guy is uh, the guy who created the wine that won the Paris tasting in 1976, is that right? And so it kind of put Napa like on the map, like it's what kind of set Napa out amongst, you know, making wines and everything. So kind of cool, um, a lot of good history there. And so now we are headed to lunch at- Bistro Gentil. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very- French very excited about this little French restaurant that we're going to and then I don't know what we're gonna do after that so uh, the world is our oyster <laughs> right <laughs> all right so here we go okay Dan got the famous uh, tomato soup and a puff pastry break into that baby oh. all right and then I got the 
onion soup. Super excited about this. Is it good? Yeah. And then we're gonna share the pancetta wrapped rabbit. Okay, so our uh, prosciutto wrapped rabbit just came out, right? With the pasta and the uh, peas, it looks delicious. Interested to see what you think. Good. All right. The soups were incredible. Um, the duck was better than... The rabbit. I mean, the rabbit was better than I thought. I mean, I wanted to try it, but it was actually really good. And the noodles were great. I love the sauce that was in. And then the creme brulee was... <laughs> to die for. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right, so we decided that we're going to go to Silver Oak. Very excited about this. Um, we kind of fell in love with the 2013, uh, what, what was it, cab? And uh, anyway, I've just, I've been, I've been looking forward to trying out Silver Oak since we kind of got into this whole wine thing. So here we go. All the vines. Alexander Valley Cabernet, um, which it's no 2013, but it's okay. The 2006 is really good. Yeah, it is top notch. Very earthy, very smooth. Uh, we just found out that you get a hidden fourth pour, uh, a revisit of whichever one is your favorite, and so I think both of us will be revisiting the 2006. Do what? I know. All right, so we went back to the room, hung out for a little bit. I took a nap. Yeah, we were a little tired. But my hair is flat now. It is a little after five. We just left the inn and we're heading downtown to maybe find a tasting room before our 7.30 dinner reservation at the place that no one can pronounce. <laughs> It's either Owen Tree, Eno Tree, Ono Tree. I don't know. We don't really know. But maybe we'll find out at 7:30. <laughs> Looks like they have good pizza. Yeah, they do have pizza there. So, so ready for dinner? Yes. I'm, I'm ready not, for wine first. Yeah, I'm not hungry yet. Nope. That French food was good. I've never had rabbit, and I thought it was going to be dry. I really was not expecting to like it, but it was delicious. And then that cream brulee was incredible. Yeah, it was. Is that how you say it? So we are at Pure Brew Wine Experience. Um, we There's an option to do a, a wine flight, but we both just ended up getting a glass of wine. And Dan got the Purity and I got the Rosé. Right, so this is a Simeon Sauvignon Blanc Blanc, so Bordeaux White, and you got the Sangio Rosé. Mm -hmm. Sangio Vesse. Mm. Oh, good. It's very good. Thank you. Mm. Was, mm. Can I try yours? Mm -mm. No? <laughs> so, this is Ozzy. Ozzy is famous 
Oh my gosh, I love that bigger dog. That's so pretty. <laughs> All right, so Ozzy is in the Wine Dogs of California book. These are all of the dogs that are associated with the different wineries and such. And there's Ozzy in all his glory, the Prince of Barkness. <laughs> all right, so we are at Ono Tree or Ono Tree or however you would like to say it. I think it's oh no tree. I don't think that there's an extra syllable in there, even though I would like to put one in there because it makes sense. So um, we just talked our waiter into getting us Slutty Marys. <laughs> so what did we order? Crudo. Smoked salmon. Capers, arugula, yeah. some sort of sauce. It's a little salty. It was like Meyer lemon, so I think that's where the salt comes in. All right, so we just finished our pizza, uh, which we forgot to. Thank you. Thank you. We forgot to take photos of or um, anything, but the pizza, pizza was fabulous. Uh, all right, so. <laughs> Pizza was amazing. Service was less than desirable. Uh, but, I mean, I totally would eat the pizza again. I want to go back into the wines at on first. Over here. You see Ozzy? He's waiting for us over there. So we are back in the wines on first. This place is a lot better than Oh No Tree as far as service goes. And they offered to get us dessert from Oh No Tree, which we would have gotten over there had our waiter been better. So we're thinking about maybe that strawberry granita? I don't know what it is, but uh, we'll see. Dan has a friend. Ozzy. Ozzy. This is Ozzy. Ozzy. Do you love your life? Okay, it's so not, it's not it's like, like that at all. Uh, like, so that's the granita. I'm telling you, it's like a shaved ice. It is. I told you. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I guess we got a panna cotta. Yeah. Try the panna cotta. Hang on, I gotta try the whole thing here. All right, it's so, so dark. It's, I can't see myself. <laughs> it's, it's really dark. Um, so we just left wine on first. Wine's on first. Wine's on first. Uh, wine? Wine on first. Anyway, it was, um, that's like such a cool place. If you're coming to Napa, like you should totally go there. Um, now we are headed back. To the inn. Headed back to the inn because we got to get so, up super early. Hopefully, we can do this balloon ride thing. Yes. I'm already so tired. It's like. That's a good thing. Yeah. I don't I even know. I don't know. I don't know what time it is right now, but it's really late at home and I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep and I'm so excited for the hot air balloon tomorrow. I'm really hoping it happens. So. We'll see. Fingers crossed that the next time you see me, I will be getting on a hot air balloon. Crazy. All right. Good night. Good night.